get started, we need to find out where our first stitch is. And that's going to be, if you look at the chart, we are seven rows across by eight stitches high. So that's where our first stitch is going to go. And we find that on our square by counting the rows. And let me show you how that is done. This here is our first row. One, two, we're looking for the loops that are going in this direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm kind of losing my way. I'm looking. So there we are. That's seven across. And we're going to count eight up. So our very first stitch is right here. We're not going to count this bottom where the border was. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's where we're going to start our first stitch. Now in order to duplicate a stitch, you're basically just copying your white yarn over the yellow stitch in order to create our pattern. So if you keep that in mind, you really can't make a mistake because you're just going to copy over that. Let me move this pin out of the way. And we're going to pull this yarn up. Leave a little tail at the bottom. So this is our eighth stitch. And this is our row going all the way up. Let's see the back. I leave a little bit of a tail that I'm going to trap in. So let me get a better hold on this. Okay. So this is the eighth stitch, and this is the one that we are duplicating. Now, if you see, it goes up goes behind these two little legs and back down and it makes like a V when it comes back down. So we're going to duplicate that. We're going to copy that with a white stitch. Pull that through. I kind of hold it down. Got a lot of yarn on my needle and this is just the needle that I showed you at the very beginning on the materials list. It's a yarn or a darning needle. Okay, so that was our first side. I'm going to pull it up and kind of manipulate it over that yellow stitch. Okay, and now we're going to go right back down to connect it and make that V. Okay, so we've duplicated our very first stitch. Now the next one, if we look at our chart, it is still eight rows high, but this time it's eight rows over. So that's really just the next stitch over, and you can count that up. So this is going to be the next row. I'm wondering if I'm off the camera. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to count uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's this one right here. Now you do have the option of using um, water-soluble ink um, that you can mark these stitches. That might be a good idea in the beginning. And so we're duplicating this one here. This is the one that we're copying keep getting off camera. This is the one that we're copying right here. So in order to do that, in order to copy that stitch, we've got to go behind these two little legs. Straighten out my yarn. I'm getting it knotted up there. And kind of adjust the tension, make it look nice and full cover that yellow loop. Make sure you get full coverage. 
Okay, so that's our first two stitches. The next one calls for eight rows over. And this one is going to be number nine. So we're going to go up this time. Still the same thing. Coming up right through there because we're wanting to duplicate this top stitch. Okay, and we're going around. Pulling that through. And back down. Now, the next stitch is here. This is the next one that we're going to duplicate. So we come up straight through the bottom. Back around the two legs. And back down. And you can pull these up and adjust them, make them a little bit bigger. Okay, so the next one is nine rows over and ten up. That is right here. Okay, so you're going to do the entire pattern this way. Oops getting tangled up here. And like I said, there's really no mistakes to be made. You're just covering this white, using this white yarn covering the yellow. And you just keep going. I'm going to show you the pattern. And everywhere that you see these squares, these outline squares, that's going to be your duplicate stitch that I just showed you. And everything is a duplicate stitch, then we're going to go back and put our French knots on top of the duplicate stitches here where you see the circles.